So following on from my last video on the transition metals, which were the basics, now moving on to the first chemical property, which is the complex ions. So, a complex ion is a central metal ion surrounded by coordinately bonded ligands. A coordinate bond, we should already know, is a covalent bond where both of the shared electrons come from the same species. And just for the record, in case you see it in an exam, a coordination number is just the number of coordinate bonds that are present. A ligand is a species which donates a lone pair of electrons to a central metal ion within a complex. And the characteristics of donating a lone pair makes nucleophiles, ligands and Lewis bases, which we will come on to, all equivalent because they all donate a lone pair. There's three types of ligands, and these are unidentate ligands, bidentate ligands, and multidentate ligands. And starting off with the unidentate ligands, these form one coordination per ligand. And there's two types of these. There's the small uncharged unidentate ligands, and then there's the large charged unidentate ligands. The small uncharged unidentate ligands form six coordinations around the central metal ion. So that means there'll be six of these around the central metal ion if they're all unidentate. And examples of unidentate ligands are water and ammonia. Large charged ligands form four coordinations around the central metal ion. And examples of these are cyanide, hydroxide and chloride. Moving on to bidentate ligands, these form two coordinations around per ligand, sorry. And that's kind of given away by the bi part in bidentate. And around the metal ion, they form six coordinations. Examples of bidentate ligands are ethane dioic acid and ethane 1 4 diamine. Finally, then, we have multidentate ligands. By definition, these are ligands which have a coordination number which per ligand is greater than 1. And you might be thinking then, bidentate ligands form two coordinations each, so these are multidentate. And you're right, but we call them bidentate, and when we're referring to multidentate ligands, we normally are talking about EDTA. And this forms six coordinate bonds per one EDTA. And that means that this will surround the central metal ion completely. And that's all you need to know for the complex ions of the transition metals.